What's good, people? I'm doing this video right here as a result of a couple of questions that I've fielded over the past couple of days regarding um, stretching and machine. Um, machine is what I use, so this will truly apply to that. So let me start out with this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I got a basic beat loaded. I'll let you hear the beat first, and then I'll let you hear the things that I'm going to stretch to line up with the beat. So here's the beat by itself. All right, so I got three different samples loaded. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. Now, I intentionally grabbed things that were at completely different tempos than the regular beat because this way you'll actually get to see what happens when I stretch them and make them all fall in time. So, just to give you an example, like I don't even have to go to this third one. This, that one is just way, way different. But these first two, I'm going to let the beat play and then I'm going to tap the pads on the other ones just to let you hear what it sounds like initially. So... You hear that soft. Let's play the second one. Yeah. It just stops all early. And again, that was just drastically different. So we don't have to go there. Now, already, I told you that the, the, the beat, and just to show you that the beat for this is 95 beats per minute. So we're going to go to these samples. Now, in each case, I have already cropped out Oops, Dang, messing up my own tutorial. I've already taken out the area that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. And this part is key. The first thing I'm going to do is go over to truncate. What truncate will do is it'll cut off everything to the left and the right of the highlighted area. Because that's my loop right there. So I'm going to go ahead and truncate that. Go to the second one. Again, you see my area. So I'll go ahead and truncate that. And this third one is one of a million break beats that I already have chopped up in my computer. So I don't have to truncate that one. But now, this is the fun part. I'm going to go over here to stretch. And we'll start with the most drastic one. Now, you know what? We're going to come back to that one because I'm going to show you something else with that nice little trick. So we'll go to this one. So the first thing I'll do is I'll hit settings. It gives me the source BPM is 102. And the second one is 95 with a default length, in this case, of two bars. So I'm going to hit apply. Now, let's see what that sounds like with the beat playing. See how it's lining up? All right, we'll go. We're going to go to this one. And I already showed you earlier that it was off. So we'll do the same thing. We're in stretch already. I hit settings. And in this case, the source BPM is 75.8. And we want to take it up to 95. With a default length, in this case, of one bar. Hit apply. Boom. Let's play it. See 
see how simple that was? Now, we'll get to the crazy one. Matter of fact, I'm going to duplicate this, this drum pattern, into two more spots. Because I just want to have some fun with it. So, here we'll go to stretch, settings. Now, right now, it's going to go from 142 to 95. I don't even want to know what that's going to sound like. But, we hit apply. Boom. Let's go to the second one. And this one, instead of making it one bar, I'm going to make it default to two bars. What the heck? Boom. And then, this third one, I'm going to make that one default to a half a bar. Now, keep in mind, it still kept saying 95. So... Let's just, I'm going to just see what it sounds like. I ain't even going to test it first. Okay. Okay, check it out. Now let's go to the longer one. One of the things that I do sometimes when I chop up break beats like this, I'll have it playing at half time and double time. And then I'll even chop that up. So when you got that kind of stuff working together and then you start using panning and filters, then it's bananas. But you see how simple it was. Now, it's some other things that you can do with stretch, but um, this is enough to get you started. In the meantime, mess with it, you know, and if you're doing things with vocals, you don't have to use a uh, beat as a stretch. I mean, uh, yeah, as a stretch mode. Like right now, it's in beat mode. That's, that's how it's able to give me, you know, um, the source, BPM, and and where you want to go with it but if you have it in free mode you can slow up a sample by a percentage and it goes by 10 percent so you know it's 100 90 80 70 60 you know so if you want to play want something to play slower in increments that's not beat related like if you're chopping up a vocal piece then you can do that there without altering the pitch so that's it i get up hopefully this uh answers your questions.